Okay, the slice of the red pie is entitled Mean and Deviation of Normal Distribution. And really what it is, is one of those uh, variations that I was talking about in the last video. So let's read it. A psychologist has designed a questionnaire to measure individuals' aggressiveness. Now suppose that the scores on the questionnaire are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 100. Now also suppose that exactly 15% of the scores exceed 700. Find the mean of the distribution of scores and then round to one decimal place. Okay, well this one's going to be a little tricky because while we have in the past gone down here and sort of set this up so that we could apply some common sense to these X scores, that isn't going to be possible this time because we don't know what the mean is. Notice here that the mean is unknown, so I really can't begin labeling here because I don't know what it is. Now, we can notice here that our standard deviation sigma is given, that that's 100. So let's just simply make a note over here somewhere that sigma is 100. And of course, as we begin to look at our formula here, we can see that we could go ahead and plug that in if we want to. So we can plug that in there. Notice that uh, the mu, though, uh, here's our unknown there. So as I said before, we're going to basically uh, have to have some of the pieces and then solve for what we don't have. So sigma's 100, we can tell that from the givens. We want this, so we're going to have to solve for it. And everything else we're going to have to come up with on our own. So let's do some detective work here and see what we can come up with. Now notice up here, they told us a fact that 15% exceed a value of 700. Let's go back and find that in the reading. It says right here, suppose also that exactly 15% of the scores exceed 700. Now, this 700 then is a particular score, so it must be an X value. And so, that is our X value right there. That is X. Let's go back and make a note of that. That is a particular score. That is our X value. And so, that must be 700 right there. That is our X. Now, furthermore, notice that 15% exceed that. Now, exceed means greater than. So, only 15% of the area under the curve is going to be greater than the X scores, and of course we don't have those labeled, but we would normally put them over here, that only 15% exceed that value. Well, uh, if that's the case then, that 15% that they're talking about here has to be the high end, the top 15%. Okay, so we're going to go over here and draw a line in here someplace. And keep in mind that this area over here is going to be 15%, and this particular X score here has to be our 700, so that only 15%, in other words, the area under the curve that's going to be to the right of 700 is 0.15. So this then, this drawing is going to be consistent with the fact they told us here that the 15% exceed this 700. So basically, we know a few things from that. We know then that our X is 700 and furthermore, this allows us a way for us to calculate this Z value because remember our Z value here is going to be what we uh, get from the Z button and so we can get this Z value by noticing that the area to the right of our unknown Z score is going to be the Z of 0.15. So we can calculate that with our Alex calculator. Let's go do that. So we can go over here, grab our Alex calculator, take the Z of 0.15, and we find that value. So let's go back up here now and do a little bit of work on our notes. That's 1.036. 
this and so on. So back over here, this z value, let's rewrite. We're going to have 700 is equal to 1.036 and some decimals here, multiplied by 100 plus sig or plus mu, our unknown average. Now that's what we want. So what we can do then is we can do a little math here. We can take this z number, which we said was going to be this 1.036. We have that on our calculator right now. So let's go back over there and, and work on that just a second. Simply take this number here, multiply this by 100. Okay. Now notice here that we're in the intermediate calculation here, and they tell us to carry four decimal places there. So let's write a step. We're going to have 700 equals, and then we're going to have 103 point, and let's carry those four digits, 6433 plus mu. Let's look at that now in our notes. So our 700 equals 103.6433. Once again, I multiplied those two numbers together, rounded to four digits, plus mu. Now I want to get the mu by itself, so I'm going to have to do some algebra here, which means that I want to get rid of this 103 number, which means that I want to move it to the other side, which means I want to take 700 and subtract that number. So let's go back to our Alex calculator, and what we want to do here then, I'll just store that number for a minute. I will take 700, I will subtract that number by recalling it. Notice that I've carried all the digits, and here we go. We have our answer, and we want to round this to one decimal place, so our answer 596, and then there's a 3 followed by 5, 596.4. 596.4 is our unknown mean. And we are good to go. There's another variation of this problem. What they oftentimes do here then is they go ahead and at times they will give you the mean but not give you the standard deviation. But they'll give you the x. They will give you a certain amount of area that you can use then to, uh, to get your your z value and then you can go ahead and use algebra and solve for sigma at times and so they uh, they like that variation and it works much the same way so hopefully that is good and that uh, that will get you through this one